Welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. This video shout out goes to Derek Jones. Thank you for your continued support. And I want to touch a bit more on narcissist and stealing. Because that's all part of the narcissistic mindset. Okay, and there's several things that go along with that. So here, I want to, let's, let's, let's have a little bit, let's get the conversation rolling. Because one of the things you can watch out for, and this is not, a, this is very, very, very common. Okay, when, especially, you know, remember, they don't, they're crept in unaware of a lot of them. And then some of them not so much. But this is why, when I say narcissism has been normalized, this, this is a big part of it too. And why they think their behavior and what they do is normal. Okay, let's say you go to the store. And I, I what I want everyone to do is comment if you've seen this. Because I know I'm not alone. <laughs> I know I'm not alone. Drop it in the comments below and let's, let's share some examples so that other people can become more educated on what to watch out for. Because this, this to me is probably a really, really, really important red flag to keep an eye out for. When somebody, let's say you've got an organization, okay, that is, let's say, okay, a lot of places, let's say your restaurants and other stores, things like that, they'll have a bowl, right? And they'll have like mints or some kind of candy or something that like after you're finished with your meal or you're done with your shopping or whatever, and you can pick up, you know, a couple of mints or whatever. Usually one is enough, all right? See, part of that narcissistic mindset is they don't know when enough is enough as far as... They, they don't, because they don't know the difference between a want and a need, okay? They don't. Narcissistic mindset don't, un, don't know the difference between a want and a need. And so what they'll do is they'll go in there knowing that they really only need one if they feel like, you know, they got, you know, after, you know, that after breath or whatever from, let's say, garlic, onion, whatever stuff. One minute is, is all you need, right? Stop and think about it. But what they do is they'll take a whole handful because they're like, hey, you know, they, because they, it, it's free, right? They think it's free. And they got this mindset of, oh, well, you know, the, the, the entity gets these by the bag fulls, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine, but it still cost that organization some money out of their budget to put that out so that there would be enough to go around. See, this is another thing. That's why I say there really, truly is abundance to go around for everyone, but those with the narcissistic mindset that go do stuff like that are the reason why it seems like there's not enough to go around. Stop and think about it. They go to that little bowl, and they empty it out, they, uh, they take a, a handful, the narcissistic mindset, okay, they'll take a handful, and after several of them do that, then all of a sudden, eventually, the entity runs out, and got no more for a little while, so now, what, don't have enough to go around, See, that's the thing, gotta stop and think about that, so if you, you know what I'm talking about, drop it in the comments, if you've seen somebody do this, and it it's some it's one of those behaviors though that most people would not even think about. They wouldn't even give it a second thought because that's how normalized it has been. It has been made to be to do to do that and to think that way and to assume there's another part of it. All right, so they think that okay, so the entity put it out here. Yes, they did. They put it out there technically, you know, for a free offering or a thank you or a whatever. And so, it, but it's not really free. It did cost that entity something, time to order it, time for it to get delivered, time for, you know, something. It's, not, it's Nothing in this world is free except for the love of God and Jesus. And that wasn't even free either. Stop and think about it, how Jesus had to, he had to give his life for us. But anyway, because that's not even free. But we got to also remember something too. The demon spirits are in the business to steal soul, which is a.k.a. the mind. So anybody with a narcissist that has somewhat of a narcissistic mind, okay, because remember there are, like I've said before in another video, so for the newbies if you haven't heard it yet, there are what we call full-time narcissists and part-time narcissists. 
The part-time one, uh, it takes a little while. You, uh, it takes some observation, okay, and paying attention. But it, the one common one between both the full-time narcissist and the part-time narcissist, what the, uh, that's the common one right there, okay, that have that mindset. And that is stealing. Okay, kind of it kind of is really when you do when you think about it. Uh, you're going in there and taking more than what you need. Okay, it's not it may not be it's not necessarily stealing from the entity that you know provided it, but from others who might need one of those or something like that. Okay, so that's that. Okay, the narcissist and stealing boy, boy do they. In a number of ways. That's just one example. And a lot of us talk about it. But they steal your ideas also. But now I'm not. And again. Like I said before. We're not talking about sharing good ideas. And things like that. Or borrowing a concept. And going okay. And then branching out. And being original on our own. And things like that. But there are those out there. That have that narcissistic mindset. And don't even realize it. So I'm bringing this out now. Because it's time for people to. We all have to do self checking. Make sure we're not. Like I said over there on Instagram. And elsewhere. And in previous videos here. We've got to examine within ourselves. And make sure we're not engaging in it. We've got to keep. Got to get our mind right. Okay. we got to get our mind right with the Heavenly Father. Always. Okay, and most of us did not have that mindset in the first place. That's why we got targeted. Because remember, the narcissist is trying to steal someone's soul. They're trying to steal mine. And so the more you see people engaging in that similar behavior, and they don't necessarily refer to it as stealing, then a lot of, like, like I said, a lot of people wouldn't give it a second thought. But it, it very much is a form of stealing in many ways. But... So and it's all, they and and it's also because they always take more than what they need, and if we're not careful, that social influence can rub off on on other people, and that's a big part of it too. Why it would seem like there's not enough to go around when there, in truth, really is. It's just that we have people with the narcissistic mindset, that is a mindset where it's all about them, and they don't they don't have they don't give one thought. To the next person. It's all about them in that moment. And their ego. And satisfying their ego. And so they see something that's like supposedly free for the taking. And they're always going to take more than what they need. It's just very very common. And many of us. We had to outgrow some of those tendencies ourselves. Let's not forget that. Okay. Let's not forget it. Because we were under a heavy cloud of cognitive dissonance for a long time. Now, we knew right from wrong. We never engaged in all of it. We, I guess you could say we fit in that part-time category at one time or another because we were being conditioned to think that that was normal. But, I'm glad, you know, God wakes us up and we realize, whoa, 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 that is so not normal. <laughs> so, that's a big part and it's, and it's a process. So, I want everybody to understand that. Luckily, God wakes us up and we don't become full-time. We don't. Our, our, the devil can't, didn't win our soul. Okay, he did not take over our mind because God kept our minds protected. He knew, you know, it's kind of things like God knew we were all going to go through that. We had to learn the lesson, and that's the reason for it. And we all had to learn it. Okay, so we'll keep that in mind. I'm not saying, you know, because none of us are perfect. None of us are, you know, any saints by any means. But. We learn. That's the whole thing. We learn. Like lessons in life. But the narcissists never do. They never learn their lesson. They they don't think they make a mistake. Right? So they'll steal. Yes. Now, another example. And I've mentioned this briefly elsewhere, so I'll touch on it. <laughs> Take your lunch to work. Okay? Anybody with a narcissistic mindset is not only is it nosy. But they will help themselves to your stuff. Because they think they're entitled to it. Just remember that. They will do that. And they don't necessarily ask either. They'll just go on in there. And let's say you got a box of raisins in there. And they'll take them. They will take them. <laughs> they think that it's they, they think that they're for the taking. So they'll steal it from you. 
and not and and they steal things in a bull way. They will steal your though they steal your money all the time. Just so you know, we all have to learn what's what and stuff when it comes to that. But they'll do that. They will steal anything that we allow them access to. Think about that for a second. They'll steal anything that we allow them access to. Stop and think about it. Mm -hmm. I know I just said think about it. And then stop and think about it. But I really want that to sink in. They will, they will steal whatever we give them access to. So, we always want to be mindful of that. Keep your stuff, keep certain things secure. You'll be fine. And trust God always. Trust God. Oh my gosh, you, you I'm telling you, God will, mm, not only does he reveal the enemies to you, but he also will show you, and you'll, he'll tell you, okay, so this is, oh, okay. And some people would say that that's God testing you. Uh-uh. I want to, I, I'm going to take a moment here just to clarify something for people because there's a false narrative going around out there that God will test you and I'm here to tell you no, he doesn't. And I, I'm going to explain how I know that. Okay, because we don't go, because those of us who are reborn and we're walking with Christ, we don't go around testing people. We test the spirit of people, but not in the way that you think. God doesn't come right out and test you. Because God, think about this. God knew you beginning to end. He knew you before you were born. Okay? He knew everything you were going to go through. He knew exactly where you were going to end up at any given time. He knew, like let's say before you moved to another state for a little while. He knew you were going to do that. He knew. Let's stop. Okay? Really, really, really think. It's not, and, that, and it's not God that's testing you. Okay? It's the devil. Stop and think. The devil is the one that does the testing because the devil is always, like I mentioned in previous video, the enemy is always testing your faith. Always. God not going to necessarily, he doesn't need to do that. He knows. If you're with him, you're 100% with the Godhead and you, you're letting him do what he needs to do and you're paying attention and you are doing nothing but putting God first, he knows your faith. He knows your faith. He knows you. He knows you better than you know you. <laughs> I mean, you really stop and think about it. Like, God knows you better than you know you. So, God's like, no, he's not necessarily, no, he has no reason to test you. He knows because he trusts you to figure it out. He trusts you. He does. Believe it or not. God does. When you're with him, he knows your, God knows the heart. Your heart is righteous. And you, you have never, you're not out, he knows that you're not out there trying to seek to destroy or steal a soul. He knows you're not trying to do anything that's going to bring harm upon something else or any of his creation. He knows you would never do that, that you would never engage in those sociopathic behavior and that you never have. He knows, he knows you. And so he trusts, and that's why when he wakes you up like that, he trusts you. I, I look at it this way. He would not have wa he would not have woken us up if he didn't trust us. Okay, I'm gonna let that sink in. But God did not do the testing in the, not 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 the way you think. He doesn't test. He puts things in front of you one thing at a time. Okay? He's not testing you, he's guiding you. It's the devil that's gonna test you. It's the devil, it's the enemy that's going to test your faith. And that's, and he does it through his flying monkey. Stop and think. He does it through that. So, let's say one of these with the narcissistic mindset steals something from you. That is, I look at that as a test from the enemy to test my faith. To see if I'm going to get upset. To see if I'm going to get all bent out of shape over it. To see if I'm going to bear false witness. Aha. See. To see if I'm going to break my covenant with the Heavenly Father. He wants to see if I'm going to do anything that God would not approve of. That's the big part of it right there. So you want to stop and think about it. But. And so what do we do if that happens? Hey, we've all had. We've all been stolen from. 
but God restores it. See, that's the beauty. God will restore it. I'm not necessarily talking about materialistic stuff. Depends on what it is. Did you need it or did you want it? Was it a need or was it a want? God will restore your needs. What you want is a whole different thing. Like, ah, well, you know, you got to work for that and, and, and figure that out on your own. But God will restore and provide what you need. Okay, we always want to think about that. But people with a narcissistic mindset don't, they don't believe that. They don't, <laughs> they're all about wants. If you think, it, it's like, I feel like they have it twisted backwards where they think that their needs are wants or something. It's that backwards thinking again. But they do, they'll help, they steal anything that they can have access to. And it's just, it, it's crazy making, but they do. And just know that when you see someone engage in that kind of behavior, that's a pretty daggone good indicator they've got the ism mindset. So they're not thinking about anybody else. They don't care, because they don't care. I mean, you gotta stop and think. Narcissistic abusers, they don't care about anybody but themselves. After all, that's the bottom line. It's all about them and what they can get, stroke their ego. And just, and, and everything, nothing is ever enough for them as far as in quantity is what I'm talking about there. I'm not talking about a, a, the abundance of information and the fact that some of us, we're going to keep raising awareness, okay? And I know there's been some out there who are like, well, why is everybody talking about narcissism and, and stuff like that all the time? Well, it's part of that raising awareness because we are exposing the evildoers and their abusive tactic, and that's the effort to help others learn and get educated and for those who find themselves in that situation to start planning their escape. By the way, if you need help with that, head on over to my website, check out the available session, and we'll get to work on helping you do that because there's ways, there's many different ways to, to plan that escape, to get out of there. Because, uh, and, and, you know, God will help deliver you on his time. Always. He always does. So, that's the other thing. I, I, I know I wanted to throw that in there about the testing. Because God put that in my spirit right then and there. And, anyway. So, but, because it, it ties into that. Alright. Narcissistic stealing. So, there's your food for thought today. Anybody, if y'all got some stuff you'd like to add. Or questions or anything. Video requests. Drop them in the comments below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. But also, if you've got anything else you'd like to add about narcissistic stealing, because they do it in a number of ways. And this there's too much to put one short little video. So, let's get the conversation rolling. Alright? So other people can learn and grow. That's what it's all about. We learn as we grow, and we grow as we learn. As I say often sometimes, that's, it's just a favorite motto, because it's so true. So very true. That we stay on God's path, we continue to learn, and we continue to grow. Spiritual growth and healing. What it's all about. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Until next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.